Within the span of less than one month, VR gamers have been blessed with not one, but two VR city management simulators, Cities VR released last month, and also Little Cities released today on May 11th. I showed you the early gameplay of Little Cities back in December and reviewed the new Cities VR game only about a week ago, but the big question is, which VR city simulator is the best one for you to buy? That's why in this video, I will compare Cities VR and Little Cities released today. We will compare the two different approaches that the developers took in developing these two games and by the end of this video you'll be able to decide for yourself which city simulator game is the best one for you. At first glance, both of these games bring something unique to the genre. While Cities VR is following the steps of Cities Skyline in its complexity and, let's be honest, stress level, Little Cities is probably one of the coziest VR game I've ever played, which gave me a feeling like I'm playing with a toy city rather than building a metropolis. I'll tell you more about my general impressions from both games at the end of this video and now let's dive in into the details. Let's talk about starting this city. In Little Cities, you build your city on an island, and the game starts with a single island where the tutorial will begin. As you grow your city, more islands will become available with unique terrains, natural features, and complications. For example, this volcano on this island will occasionally erupt and set your houses on fire. Or on this desert island, it will be more difficult for you to provide water for its citizens. In Cities VR, you'll immediately get access to more than 10 different locations. They also have different unique features that can make your city management easier or more difficult. You can also choose if you want to play the tutorial at the start of the game and if you want to play a stress-free game that you can even enable the unlimited money and all the constructions unlocked so that you can build the city of your dreams without any restrictions. And now let's talk about roads. Roads is the very first thing you need to build as the foundation of your city's infrastructure. In Little Cities, building roads is a pretty simple task. You build them in straight lines and it creates a two cells space on each side of the road available to place buildings. This way it makes it fairly simple and intuitive to plan out your entire city in a way that you would use the most of the available space. On the other hand, building roads in Cities VR can be quite confusing at first. There is such a vast variety of roads that you can build here. Straight roads, curvy roads, roundabouts, you can build gravel roads, asphalt roads, and even multiple lane roads to ease the flow of the traffic. You'll have to really plan ahead which areas of your city will be busy and will require bigger roads to avoid traffic jams. Traffic jams are also possible in little cities, but you avoid them by creating frequent connections rather than choosing between different types of roads. No, there's only one type of roads in little cities, but there's a lot more to learn about roads in Cities VR. You can also see these cells appearing on the sides of the roads, but they are a lot more difficult to predict than in little cities, especially when you're building curvy roads, you're risking of losing a lot of real estate. Overall, it's a very interesting system system in Cities VR, one that definitely requires more learning, but I also enjoy the simplicity and straightforwardness in the little cities mechanics. I find it way more relaxing, intuitive, and easy to get your city off on the right foot. Now let's check out zoning. Both Little Cities and Cities VR offer three types of zoning – residential, commercial, and industrial. Your population grows as you build more residential buildings, marked green in both games. Commercial buildings are different shopping centers, marked blue in both games. And industrial buildings are factories – they provide jobs and they are marked yellow. To see your current city demand, you can check these colored bars in Cities VR and the pie chart in Little Cities. They show what types of buildings need to be built next. Buildings in little cities look like very cute and colorful toy buildings. It's kind of like you're building your own little Barbie village. I feel like they go for the cute factor here. Everything looks sunny and colorful and warm and not real. It really feels like a toy city here. On the other hand, cities VR go for the realism. I was so impressed by the amount of detail they put in each building. Houses have back doors, flower beds, air conditioning units, even the shops have automatically generated billboards and signs. So they actually look like cafes and restaurants. It is also fun to see how the windows in all the buildings light up during the night in Cities VR, while Little Cities doesn't actually have the day and night cycle. There are some major utilities that you need to provide to your citizens, water and electricity being the most important ones. In both games, you build a windmill to provide the electricity and a water tower to provide water. In Little Cities, building the water tower provides water to a specific area in the city, but in Cities VR, in order to make sure that all houses have water, you need to build underground pipes 
pipeline, so they certainly add to the complexity of the game. In addition, in Cities VR, you also need to build the sewage system, but be careful not to build it by the same body of water that you used for drinking water for your citizens, otherwise you will poison the entire city, like I did. As your city keeps growing, you, the mayor, reach different milestones, level up and unlock new features and buildings, such as fire departments, police departments, schools and so on. I found it much easier to level up in little cities than in Cities VR. That is, I had a much easier time learning how to play little cities and following the tutorial than I did in Cities VR. It explains the basics to you, but also moves on quickly over more complicated stuff like taxes, loans, city demographics and so many other variables that will affect the success of your city. And if you're losing control over some of the areas, it's very easy to go bankrupt. I would assume it will take you a few tries to start the game over before you can build a city with a truly strong economy. Speaking of going bankrupt, you may choose to take a loan in Cities VR if you feel like your city budget is running out. In little cities, loans are also possible, but they will become available to you only after your budget reaches zero. It's basically like a safety net. You don't have it until you need it. And when you need it, it will be offered to you automatically. Easy and hassle-free. It's incredible how much information is available to you in Cities VR. You can see the demographics, detailed distribution of the city income and expenses, fire safety, crime levels, education levels, and more than I could cover in this video. It's perfect if you enjoy hardcore realistic city simulators. But if you are more into relaxing experiences, little cities can give you the satisfaction of being the successful mayor without looking at countless charts and tables, and it provides, in my opinion, a more user-friendly and easy to get used to gaming interface. It seemed to me that the focus of little cities was not on developing one city, but on building as many cities as possible in different terrains while tackling various difficulties such as the eruption of a volcano or water scarcity. You will manage to fill in your very first island rather quickly, and after that you will go on to build new cities on new islands. But in Cities VR, the impression I got is that you're investing in your one city for a long time. You'll start building and growing it, and with the amount of data, features and abilities, you'll be able to keep expanding it for a long time, even though you also may start a new city on a new map. My main thought is that Little Cities feels almost like a therapeutic, relaxing app with calming music, cute graphics and a very satisfying and addicting gameplay that will make you come back for more. Playing Little Cities is a very relaxing experience that will keep you wanting more, and I'm sure that it is suitable for all ages. Cities VR, on the other hand, is a hardcore city simulator where you have a lot more control over virtually every aspect of the game. And the more control you have, the higher are the chances that something will go wrong. So you have to know exactly what you're doing in this simulator. Winging it just won't do it. Cities VR is more suitable for players that really enjoy the game's sibling City Skylines. Although not as detailed, Cities VR is the most complex SimCity game in VR I've ever played. And it is much easier to fail in this game than in Little Cities. But at the same time, this game is on the whole new level and will require a lot more time investments for you to become a truly successful mayor. I'm so glad that both Cities VR and Little Cities are different enough to offer something truly unique to the table, and I'm sure that you will find what you're looking for in one of these games. If you'd like a closer look at each of these games, check out my past video reviews. Which SimCity is the best one for you? Let me know in the comments. See you next time!